Today I want to show you how I created this brownie getting pulled apart and vanilla sauce pouring over it using the NPM solver in Houdini. And although it might look a bit complicated at the beginning, it's actually fairly simple setup and we're just gonna quickly go over it. So starting off, I created a brownie in ZBrush, which technically you could have done also in Houdini using some noises. We're gonna simplify this and transform it a bit. Next, I created bounds for this to then scatter some points and put these little cubes there which we're going to use to create chocolate chunks. Then using a for each loop, I modified each of them a little bit to get these little pieces. So they all look a little bit different than just simple cubes. And after converting this to VDBs, I subtracted it from the brownie geometry and I clipped it here at the sides because usually the chocolate chunks don't reach out of the walls of the geometry after it's cut. Then I convert the VDB volume from the brownie geometry to npm source points and I use a chunky preset which I modified a little bit I played with the stiffness to get something I wanted and to create this natural effect of the brownie breaking apart I use this expression here to create a little noise that breaks this up into little pieces and what we also need for this is the little chocolate pieces so we also have the chocolate pieces here from the VDB we convert them also using an npm source and I set the preset for this to vicious so that they are treated as like warm melted chocolate pieces inside of the brownie geometry. Then for the sauce getting poured over it I use a simple spiral which I transformed over the brownie and I noised up a little bit for a more organic motion and I carved it so we only have one point and then using a copy to points I have this sphere animated over the spiral. Of course I add a velocity attribute, give it a name and then we convert it using an npm source and if we look at it we have the emission type set to continuous between the frames 117 and 336 so that it only emits between these frames and it continuously emits. Also here I use also a vicious preset, I turn down the viscosity a lot though uh, to give it a, a little bit more flow and then we just merge all of the sources together and feed that into the solver. For the collider I animated this geometry here which I originally intended to be a fork but I ended up leaving the fork out because it just didn't look that nice so I just have the brownie getting pushed apart by the proxy geometry of the fork which is this little bend cube here. Since we only have a transform, uh, we don't need to deform. We just use a rigid animated, which uses the animated from the transforms to create the collision geometry here. The collision geometry as well, I delete after a certain frame range because I don't want the vanilla sauce to collide with the collision uh, geometry that pushes apart the brownie. As particle separation, I worked with 0.001, which was enough for my simulation case. It simmed for, I think, about an hour, maybe. Uh, so it's pretty decent considering the result I got out of it. And after simming, we have the cached version here. The brownie gets pushed apart and the vanilla sauce is getting poured over it. Some things I did change in the solver here is I turned on the time scale to make it all a little bit slower and I turned up the global substeps here for the emission of the vanilla sauce so that we get a smooth emission. Other than that, uh, you don't really need to change anything here. Since I created everything uh, before Houdini 20.1, I didn't even play with the surface tension. And before um, opening in Houdini 20.1, I used the method from the NPM workshop, which was published like a year ago when uh, they reintroduced NPM in 20.5. There was an option for the meshing and the UV transfer uh, for the fruit project. I use that, but I have deleted that now because now we have uh, the NPM surface node, which we're gonna get into now. You can, of course, use the standard VDP meshing like I did here, but since I experimented a little bit, I use the NPM surface node here, which gives me a lot more detail, as you can see. And for this one, it's pretty simple. You just use the neural surface here, which is also new in the 20.1 and the smooth preset. Uh, you can play with the other presets, it's depending on what kind of surface the model was trained on. 
I cache that for the vanilla sauce to render it. Uh, then what we have here uh, is the brownie. So I isolate the brownie points. And as you can see, we have this nice breakup uh, because of the stiffness noise. And for the brownie points, we need the original brownie with the UV texture, as well as the simulated brownie, which we wire in the first input. And then what we can do is we can use the polygon mesh tab here and source from the rest source uh, model. We can source the UV attribute and transfer it. And you get this really nice transferred uh, UVs, which works really, really well. Like uh, before that, the, from the Fruit Smash project, there was a pretty decent setup already, but it was a bit complicated if you wanted to set up this every time uh, you do this meshing. And now you have everything packaged into one simple node, which you can tweak all the parameters here. And to, to get the surface, I just used a balanced method here and I masked the points by the stretch. So if they have a lot stretch, they don't get smoothed as much. And yeah, that's basically everything I changed here. I turned down the, loss, uh, the voxel scale a bit to get the details here in the, in the breakup of the brownie. And after that, I used the partial uh, setup from the meshing, uh, from the surfacing and UV transfer before. Um, you just isolate the points that have a high stretch value and we create a mask from that. So if we visualize that and I use that for texturing a little bit, uh, of course I cache that and I blurred the mask a little bit more. And lastly, you just need the little chocolate dots. For that, I also use the NPM surface node, which is just a game changer. And I also created UVs for it just to get a little bit more detail. Although here the UVs, you see they are not really perfect, but since I only wanted some breakup in the surface this was more than enough after the caching you get this which is fairly decent i would say and if we go to the stage now you can see my stage 3 setup i have two camera angles one close-up and one full shot just a simple um, grid as a background which is bent and then we import the chocolate pieces the vanilla sauce and the brownie and what we get here is the geometry. Together with the background and some lights, as well as the materials I created in here, I used the cop uh, net to create the base, basic textures and then I just wired them in karma materials here. Tried different lighting setups and what I ended up with is this simple setup here with a background light from here, an edge light from behind to create these nice edges here and here and then of course a top lighting if you want the project file let me know in the comments i might prep it and put it on my gumroad i'll see you in the next one and bye bye